Greg, how close are you? We're ready? I'm Marty. Okay. We're getting close. We're getting close. All right. Everybody set? Charlie, ready? Ready. Steve? Yeah, ready. Here we go. Marty, set? Are you kidding? Greg? Ready? Here we go. Camera. And then action, Marty. And shake, shake, eyes open. And close. And open. And close. And open. Close and open wide. Close, open. Okay, cut. Thank you. <laughs> Three brothers named Kyoto are responsible for creating and breathing life into the critters. I gave my crew the slip and arranged to meet with the Kyotos after the shoot. I'm sorry, it's my crew. They're incorrigible. Have you seen the Kyoto Brothers? We're here for the interview. Movie time? Oh, they're right back. Thanks a lot. Uh, we were on Long Island, New York. Um, we were sort of away from the movie making thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, proper. it's kind of funny that the entire time we're growing up, there's always this thing we wanted to make movies, we wanted to make movies without really knowing what that meant in terms of the business. It was sort of a hobby, and then at some point in life, found out you could actually make a living doing it. We rehearsed and uh, coordinate what it takes about five operators to coordinate the giving of life to one puppet. You know, one person operates the hand movement while one person moves the arm movement. So that has to be coordinated. You have, uh, you know, someone, a puppeteer doing the gross body movements and the operator on the remote control expressions has to coordinate so it, it makes sense. But still the best way to motivate the mouth open and closed is a hand up the old uh, yaz kazoo there. But, uh, we got the sophistication now. I guess new technology. See, back then, you know, when we first came out here, it was an open and closed stuff. They were experimenting with that kind of stuff. Now it's state of the art. You know, we got state of the art technology. State of the art. It's pretty good. And this is hobby stuff. Yeah. Any kid can buy this in a hobby store. No, no, no. This is very sophisticated. This, this is what they pay for. Um. <laughs> the Kyotos told me that director Mick uh, Garris was waiting for me on the set of The Cave Planet. I thought if I hurried, I could beat my crew and avoid any unpleasantness. No such luck. Nick? Turn around, you guys. Nick? Hey, Nick. Whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Did you guys knock it off? It's this crew of mine. They're really into the suspense genre. After I'd calmed Mick down, I asked him what we'll see when Critters 2 hits the screen. Well, what I'd like to see this movie achieve is, and I hope people will notice, is that there are a real variety of colorful characters in this that you enjoy and you care about. It has a bigger scope than the first Critters, and uh, we're aiming at a PG-13, so it's not a real gross-out film, although there are moments that may want to make you lose your lunch. Someone has to bubble up a fount of blood at least once during the show. When I worked as a writer on Amazing Stories, I had the opportunity, my film school was having my scripts directed by Joe Dante, by, by Marty Scorsese, by Bob Zemeckis, by all these terrific directors, and, and I was lucky enough to be hang, hanging out on the Amblin campus that way. I was curious to know how Mick uses the camera to create suspense. A lot of use of, of the characters' points of view and the critters' points of view, which are real creepy and distorted and moving. And uh, basically, we're trying to build tension by the experience. Excuse me. I'd love to make people laugh, cry, jump, scream, whatever. Um, by associating with, with what goes up on the screen. With any luck, I'll be able to do that. Well, in spite of some people's shenanigans, I had a great time. As a matter of fact, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Critters 2. You guys, would you knock it off? Look, the only reason this is scary to an audience is because they can't see what's outside the frame. But look, I can tell you there's no monsters over here, there's no monsters over there, so... And besides, the monsters always come at you from behind. And look, no monsters anywhere. So if you could just... Oh!
Bye.